Hi everyone, in this video we will go over the capabilities of pelvic tables. So pelvic tables are going to save us a lot of clicks and a lot of shortcuts and a lot of formulas. So let's start by looking at this uh, data set that was given to you by a manager and they want the manager wants you to show the revenue or the sales by product. So we have product actually product type and we have revenue here. So they want you to show the revenue by product in a short summary. So now I will need to if I'm going to do it manually, what I will need to do is first I will need to uh, format this table and to format this this table I will need to uh, select all uh, by clicking on control A and then I will need to go to create from selection to just to name the the top rows as my column names then I will uh, also go ahead I already named this one this name of this table table one enter so now I have this table so now I can just go ahead and open a new worksheet and in here I will start by working on the manual so now as we mentioned we want the product type so revenue by product type so I will need to copy and paste the product type so now I have all those repeating uh, values for the product type so I will need to make sure that they are not repeated by going here by removing duplicates so under data tab here under this one remove duplicates so I'll say okay there we go so now those are all the data types that I have so now revenue for revenue I will need to use some kind of a formula so pin this one so I will need to know a formula so if you are not comfortable with formulas this might require you to use some formula so in my case I will use some ifs and then the sum range in this case the sum range is revenue since I already named uh, the columns, so I can just type revenue. And then criteria range in this case is actually product type. So it's already here. And then criteria range will be this guy oops so and then I will just put this one criteria one and then this is what I will do so this is the sum and then I will just put the total here that will sum the, all those revenues and then I will need to do a little bit of formatting So and then I will need to use dollar sign, reduce those decimal points, and then I will put it in a nice table format. So this is how it took us. It took us a while, so I need to know. Uh, I need to be very comfortable with formulas, and it took me a lot of clicks and a lot of tricks in order to get into this table or into this report. So now let's see if I need to use pivot table. How fast it's gonna be. So I'll go to insert pivot table, and then the name of the table I already called it table one. So oops. and then I want it to be here in existing sheet in that same spot. I'll say okay. So now it appeared. I have it. Now. I will drag the product type to the rows that way it looks exactly like that one 
and then I will drag revenue into the values now automatically it shows me the sum as you can see here I have the exact same numbers and the exact same results so now in order to do some formatting you can just go here <clears throat> for number format so I'll just put it currency yes say okay so now I have really nice table so now I have the same actually product and this one I created it with less clicks and less need for me to know formula so I was just dragging and dropping now what if your manager asked you that they want to show want you to show the revenue or the sales by let's say by region or territory in this case here you will need to put all the territories here and then you will need to put the sales so you will need a little bit more complicated formulas but on the other hand for using puppet tables it you can only you can actually do this you can just use uh, territory in the columns and boom as you can see here it makes it very easy and very simple so I have the three regions and the sale or revenues from those regions and so on so you saw and you saw in this video how how simple and easy it is for us to use public tables that uh, saves us a lot of time a lot of uh, we don't need to know a lot of formulas and tricks and clicks and uh, this is how it works so